بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله So one act, one particular ibadah that we tend to overlook is remembrance of Allah, to make dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. Something that is so easy, yet is so neglected. The difficulty with us today, we sit in front of the television, we sit with our phones, we sit and chat with people when we are saying absolutely nothing beneficial. And we have wasted so many, so many moments that were valuable that could have been used more constructively. Imagine, had those moments been the last moments of your life, what would have come of those moments? We would have regretted to say, Ya Allah, you took me away. Moments before you took me away, I was busy sitting on the net, wasting my time. Or I was sitting in front of the telly or with a group of friends, just having a chat and wasting time. Imagine those are your last moments. We would rather use them to say a few words of praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes we are sitting without saying anything, yet we could have declared the praise of Allah in some way. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Think of it. Use those moments to say it whilst you are driving, whilst you are walking, whilst you are talking. Utter the praise of Allah. It could be your last few words. Declare anything. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Something so simple, my brother and my sister, something that can flow off your tongue, so simple, yet it's massive in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's huge on the scales. Imagine Allah is saying that La ilaha illallah is heavier than the seven heavens and the earth. Don't underestimate, my brother and my sister, how much of your day has passed. How much time have we wasted? You wasted hours and hours where you could have said La ilaha illallah and filled up your scales. The Prophet of Allah says in the authentic hadith and in amazing, incredible hadith that there are two words, kalimatan, he says there are two words. He says they're very light on the tongue. They're very easy to say. He says, but they're heavy on the scales. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, my brother and sister, he's telling you the words that Allah loves to hear. He's telling you Allah loves to hear these words. He loves it. What are these words? He says, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al -Azim. Imagine the hadith says, so light on the tongue. Why don't we use our tongue to say these words? I guarantee you, I'm guilty of it as well. Sometimes days pass or at least a day has passed and those particular words, we have not yet uttered them with proper concentration. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al -Azim. The narration says they are so heavy on the scale of good deeds. Who wouldn't want to do good deeds? If you utter the word Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al -Azim, the reward of it is far greater than anything material you can have. And yet it is so simple to utter. And over and above that, we find ourselves guilty of not uttering these words. The promise of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that he loves these words. Allahu Akbar, how much of my day has passed and the heavy they're heavy on the scales. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, whoever prays his fara'id, and after the salah, he reads Ayat Al-Kursi, the most powerful verse in the Quran. In chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 255. He says, whoever reads this verse after every salah, he says, the only thing that will stand between him and Jannah is death. Allahu Akbar. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever prays his prayers, again, whoever prays his prayers, then after the prayer, he says, Subhanallah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, Allahu Akbar 33 times, and wraps it up and makes it a hundred by saying, La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah. 
له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير he says whoever does this after every salah Allah عز وجل will forgive his sins even if they're equivalent to the froth of the ocean الله أكبر look how much is there in the remembrance of Allah take advantage of every minute and you know what's beautiful about the dhikr of Allah عز وجل is you don't need to be in a special room you don't need to be in a masjid somewhere you don't need you don't even need to be in wudu wherever you are whatever condition you can keep your tongue busy in the remembrance of Allah and count your rewards it's so easy to do but how many of us remember to do it Allahu Akbar so much reward is there my brothers and sisters and keep your tongues busy in the remembrance of Allah keep your tongue those who remember Allah are those that are thinking about Allah Azza wa Jal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says what he says my slave when you remember me I remember you my slave when you forget me he says I still remember you he says my slave when you remember me on your own when you remember me individually, I remember you individually. My slave, when you remember me in a gathering, I remember you in a greater gathering. So we should seize the opportunity of time by being responsible. Think about this particular free time you have. It may not be there. If your tongue is not occupied in anything, occupy it in the praise of Allah. It doesn't cost you anything. No one is going to charge you for the muscles of your tongue moving. Nobody, in fact, will charge you for the movement of your mouth. Not at all. Rather, we would be being paid to say that in terms of reward. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfirullah.